G order ticket has many of the same features as the Dom Trader, plus a display window detailing current working orders, open positions, and more across multiple markets to make your workflow more efficient. Welcome to an overview of the CQG order ticket. This video walks you through the features and functionality of the CQG order ticket. Similar to the DOM Trader, the order ticket can be configured to provide market information and functionality that best fits your requirements. To start, when the order ticket is in the active window in your CQG page, this set of toolbar buttons appears. Let's review each toolbar button. Clicking Setup takes you to this drop-down menu where you can set the trading preferences, change the password, as well as the connection preference. Click Log On to enter your username and password and log on to the CQG Gateway. Click Log Off to close the connection to the Gateway. Click Center to center the best bid and ask to the middle of the price ladder of the order ticket. Click Fill Report to open the Fill Report. Click Order Position to open the Orders and Positions display. Clicking Cancel All cancels all working orders. If you are working a spread, then the Parameter button will be available for setting up the spread strategy. Now, let's review the CQG order ticket. Starting from the top of the order ticket, we'll work our way down. Roll the mouse over the title bar to see the login status and the current open trade equity, including closed profits and losses for the day. Right-click the title bar to open the account list to select the account for trading. The symbol tabs are color-coded. A green colored tab means a long position. A red colored tab means a short position. A black colored tab means a working order with no position. The order ticket displays the current position. The open trade equity includes the closed profits and losses for the day for the selected symbol. If there is no position for this account, the display states no position. Right-click the position details to reverse or liquidate the position. This field is optional. To the left of the current position detail is the number of working buy orders. On the right of the OTE is the number of working sell orders. Now we'll turn our focus to the order ticket price ladder. The price ladder can be as simple as just prices and volume, or you can include more information, such as the average price you would receive if you purchased all of the contracts available for three queues. Working our way from left to right, the first column is the buy column. Here you can have as a watermark the default size of your order, the word buy or limit and stop. Your working buy orders will be displayed here. Next is the amount of traded volume for the session at each price level. The actual number can be displayed as well as a histogram bar. The next column is the exchange's level 1 and level 2 order book, which uses green for the bid queues and red for the ask queues. Next are the numerical values of the order book displayed as histogram bars. The next column shows the recent trade sequence is represented by circles of varying size, indicating the prices that have been active most recently. The larger the circle, the more recent that price was traded. Recent trade sequence is optional. The last trade indicator shows whether the last trade was higher, up arrow, or lower, down arrow, than the previous trade. 
Displaying the last traded volume on the indicator is optional. The best bid and best ask are indicated by green and red highlighting. This is the price column. Next is the sell column, which can also display watermarks for displaying the default size of your order, the word buy or limit and stop. Your working sell orders will be displayed here. This column is the cumulative sum of resting volume for each queue. For example, the number displayed here is the sum of these three queues. This information is useful when you are in sweep mode. This column is a histogram bar version of the same data. This column is the average price by queue. For example, this price displayed here is the average price. The buttons are for placing orders. You select the price in the price column and the buttons change for the appropriate order type. These two buttons are for placing market orders. This concludes part one of an overview of the CQG order ticket. Thank you.